in my life have always seen me as an overachiever. Someone who always needs to excel at everything she does. Someone who always wants to be one step ahead of everyone, making sure she plans that everything goes perfectly as planned. And when I landed my first job at one of the top magazine brands in the Philippines, I promised myself to succeed in it. I promised myself to eventually take a master's degree and graduate and live a successful career in marketing. I remember being on a high, feeling like I was on top of the world and I was what the world defined as an empowered woman. I made my own decisions, I had my own money, I stayed on top of my career, I paid my own bills, and younger women would look up to me and tell me they wanted to be like me when they grow up. But at the same time, I was also feeling burnt out. I was also feeling stressed, and it always felt like I was chasing people's approval or trying to please people around me. I tell you this not to brag about how good I was or how things were great back then. Actually, I'm here to tell you that I wish I did things a little bit differently. Fast forward to October 2020, when I became a mother to my beautiful and smart and strong-willed, amazing daughter. I felt like somehow the world turned upside down for me. That was the day that my priorities became less of me and more of her. Suddenly, having a newborn, there was no more day and night, only sneaking in some little naps just to get yourself going. Suddenly, I had to strategize just taking a shower without a baby crying for me, but I always failed. Suddenly, I can never look fresh or chic for more than an hour because every 10 minutes, my baby would either poop, would either throw up, or would either just make me feel really haggard and icky at the same time. Suddenly, I feel worn out and exhausted because breastfeeding round the clock at every hour or two, it feels like I'm just reduced to food, a walking food. I remember I would cry to my husband during that time. I would tell him that, parang I feel like a dog on a leash. I can't do anything anymore. And then came the third month. My maternity leave has ended and now I'm going back to work but working from home. Imagine having a baby crying for you and a deliverables crying for you to get it done. And I felt like, okay, I don't know what to do. Now that I am at home, work is home and home is work. I remember I was breastfeeding my daughter and we were watching this video from Frozen, Anna and Elsa. And one of Frozen's best scenes is when Olaf rushed to Anna, who was freezing to death, in the fireplace to keep her warm and stayed with her. As Anna sees Olaf melting in front of her, Olaf says this, some people are worth melting for. My overachieving personality melted away when I became a mom. And suddenly my heart's capacity to love has just expanded a thousand times. Suddenly I became the person who would be selfless and sacrificial for someone else. Seeing my daughter grow up to be healthy, happy, and strong, and gaining weight makes everything worth it. And one thing I realize in this new journey that I am taking as a mother is that an empowered woman is not just empowered because of her success or achievements or money or lifestyle, credentials or position. A real empowered woman is a woman who can empower the people around her, her community, the society, and the nation. And an empowered woman is a mom. A mom with her children does character building, life training, and discipline. A love of a mother does make you do impossible things and powerful things in the simplest ways. It may not be the kind of success or power a society would define it, but this change of perspective allowed me to see the power I have as a mother. Despite all the mess, all the mistakes, and all the boo-boos along the way. Now, I accept that I am not a super mom. Motherhood has freed me from the stress and the need of always trying to win other people's approval. I know that motherhood will never be easy. There are new challenges and new learnings along the way. I am empowered because of the presence of God in my life. 
I am empowered because I trust that I can rely on God to renew my strength, my joy, and my peace every day. I am an empowered woman because God empowers me as a mother. Music